Hey YouTube, Jordan here. Uh, wishing you all well, record collectors and music lovers alike. Uh, I got another video here. We're going to be showing you some of the records I bought from Alpena, Michigan's Concert Connections. Uh, this is my favorite record store to go to. Was able to talk to the owner today. His name is Wayne, and he showed me some of the stuff in the back room. Uh, probably ten to twenty thousand records he's got stored back there. All kinds: rock and roll, blues, jazz, swing, country, polka, reggae, um, uh, uh, orchestras. Just just name a genre, and it's there. Um, classic records, newer stuff. Um, if you're into vinyl, um, 45s, 33s, he's got them. Uh, check it out. Concert Connections in Alpena, Michigan. Ended up buying 50 records uh, from there today for a total of 150 bucks. I was really impressed with the price. Didn't even try to negotiate anything less. Uh, he really, I feel, gave me a great deal. You can let me know if I got a good deal or not. Um, I'm going to get started here. Probably going to do a three part video, guys. Uh, because we got so many and I like to talk about these things. Uh, he gave me some freebies. Uh, this is a poster that I don't know who it is. If you guys recognize this poster, let me know. Um, it's like a, like a cop on a motorcycle chasing this station wagon, and there's a guy playing the trumpet in the second window there. The guy hanging off the the roof with a vi or no a big cello and drum and stuff and I don't know where this came from or what album it's a part of um, or I don't know the band or nothing so that's my that's my task to you guys uh, if you guys recognize that just um, uh, maybe tell me where it came from who it is uh, I'd like to know what I've got so if somebody knows let me know another freebie was this uh, Iron On Chicago. Uh, t-shirt print thing. Um, I don't even like really Chicago, but uh, he uh, was going to throw some of these things away. Also, this uh, Simon and Garfunkel booklet. I, I assume this came with uh, an album, but I think he sold the album and this wasn't inside on accident. So, a couple of little cool freebies, uh, and we'll move on to the records. We'll try to take too long here. Um, first thing we got is Two Jews Blues with uh, Gary Bolt Goldberg. Um, Wayne has a big, big blues uh, collection and really likes blues and he recommended this to me and so uh, you know I was kind of buying stuff that I wanted and uh, he was throwing out some recommendations and this is one that you told me you know you'd really really like to have it and I, I love the blues but I don't have a lot of like true blues stuff so this was a cool thing to get. Um, a little uh, Crosby, Stills and Nash album. There's no title on this, uh, so I don't know. I don't know which which record this actually is, but you know, uh, I think one of the songs on it is uh, like, okay, here we go. Shadow Captain, See the Changes, Fair Game, uh, Dark Star. Just a song before I go. Probably look it up on Wikipedia. I can find out all kinds of information there and figure out what I actually have. Uh, next. Uh, again, these are in no order. We have Frank Sinatra, uh, Where Are You? I'm a big fan of the Rat Pack and uh, Dean Martin and all that. Uh, Bing Crosby, those guys. Uh, so I, I like that old style uh, solo singer stuff. Moving along, we've got, uh, let's see, Rolling Stones, Beggar's Banquet. Um, the only song I really know on here is Sympathy for the Devil. Uh, I'm looking forward to listening to it since I love the Stones and maybe learning some new music by them. It's kind of cool. Um, this is a record I was really hoping that he had. One of my favorites, Santana's debut album, I believe. Uh, cool artwork with the lion there. A lot of hits on this record. Really cool. Next, uh, Bill Haley and the Comets Rockin'. Um, I know Bill Haley is famous for his uh, song Rock Around the Clock. Uh, and um, you know, a lot of people would say that that's rock and roll's first big hit, and you know, the one that brought it to mainstream. And so, uh, you know, that that's a cool record to have in a collection. You know, the one that you're just starting. Um, next, I was looking for Bob Marley. He had one uh, Exodus, Bob Marley and the Wailers, awesome. This has uh, Jammin', Waiting in Vain, uh, Three Little Birds, One Love, Natural Mystic, Exodus. Of course, um, you know, cool album to have, especially if you're a Bob Marley fan like I am. 
Um, let's see, five minutes. We'll do a couple more. Bob Dylan's greatest hits. Uh, this uh, he had eight dollars on this album. Again, all these kind of total out for three three bucks a piece. So this was a deal. Um, this this cover is in amazing condition uh, for being around so long. And when I looked inside earlier, I saw this, and I was super pumped that this was inside. Didn't know it was coming. Little bonus Dylan poster. Oh my gosh, it's so awesome. I don't even know if I want to put this on my wall, guys. Like, this is just perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh man. Shows the note, it goes to show uh, how much of like a non collector I am because I didn't know it was in there and I didn't even look inside of it before I bought it. I just looked at it when I got home and freaked out. <laughs> Dylan's my favorite, in case you guys haven't noticed. I uh, I saw him in concert last year at the Fox Theater with Mark Knopfler. Still going strong, guys. See Bob Dylan before he calls it quits and stops touring. Um, Beatles album. Got a little new, uh, old Beatles. New Beatles. Uh, let's see what we got from 67 to 70. Oh uh, my gosh, Penny Lane, Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds, I'm the Walrus, Hey Jude, Revolution, Get Back, Come Together, just basically a collection of hits, um, you know, love the Beatles, if Bob Dylan's my favorite solo artist, the Beatles are my favorite band. Uh, do a couple more here before we call it quits and uh, go on to part two, this is Woodstock 2. I don't really know what part of Woodstock this is with the cover with the naked boys dancing around, but uh, I, you know, thought it'd be cool to have a Woodstock record. I don't know about the cover or not, but the aftermath of Woodstock. <laughs> um, Joan Baez, Blue Butter Butterfield Blues Band, Can't Heat, Crosby, Stills, Nash and Young, Hendrix, Jefferson, Jefferson Airplane. Cool, cool stuff. Um, Wish I would have been around for this. Too bad I was born uh, 20 years too late. But even then, I would have been just born. So everyone should recognize this uh, cover, Led Zeppelin. Um, thought this would be cool. Got to get a little Zeppelin in there. Misty Mountain Hop. Mm. Another awesome band. Really cool. These covers are all in great shape too. That's another cool thing. Wayne's keep, Wayne keeps everything in boxes, nice, nice straight. It keeps everything cool. Um, Eddie Cochran, Summertime Blues. Uh, actually, I had 49 uh, records picked out, and he said, you know, one more will make it 50, 150, and how about that? Why don't you pick out something from the stack of Elvis? And uh, this was in there too, and he mentioned, "Oh yeah, like this is a collector's uh, record. Like it's already worth, you know, five times more than uh, the three bucks or something." And we looked it up; it was actually like fifteen to twenty-five bucks back in nineteen ninety-five, I think it was. So it's probably worth a little more now. And you know, I'm not really looking for things that have money value. I want stuff that I'm going to listen to. Uh, but you know, this was kind of something that he recommended in terms of value, and so I thought, you know, why not? I've already got a bunch of things I like. Uh, so if you guys know anything about this guy, or if this is actually valuable um, or rare, I guess, let me know. Um, I don't really even know anything about Eddie Cochran, so uh, so cool, you know, sweet. Um, all right, so yeah, we got a lot more here. We're gonna go into part two of uh, what I bought today. Uh, we're going to call it quits for part one, guys. See you on part two.